the news of the night is President Biden speaking to Kevin McCarthy. What can you tell us about their conversation? Well, they had a good conversation earlier this evening, and the president, you know, as he has been every day, is, you know, a president focused on delivering for the American people and making sure that uh, he continues to get things done. And that's what I think you saw yesterday. I think you're going to continue to see him focused on getting to the work of the American people, and that's uh, part of the call they had tonight. Was the president initiating this call? Yeah, I think as as uh, many of you know, the president has been making calls. Last night he had the opportunity to call a lot of people. I think he talked to 40 different uh, people that were on the ballot that won last night. Throughout today, he's been calling Democrats, Republicans, members of the House, Senate, and governors uh, throughout the day um, just to check in. Some won, some lost, uh, and he's been doing that all day long. And uh, did the, does this mean that uh, the president believes that Kevin McCarthy will be the next Speaker of the House? Look, the president is very optimistic about what he's seeing out there. Of course, not all the ballots have been counted. As he said before Election Day, we need to have patience. He spoke to the speaker. He spoke to Leader Schumer as well. So he feels very good about what we're seeing. He also knows there's more votes to be counted, and he's going to wait for that to come in. Did he tell Kevin McCarthy that any changes to Medicare and Social Security that were proposed by some Republicans during the campaign, uh, in effect putting them on a, a regular recurring uh, budget appropriation, that, did he tell them that that's just dead on arrival? Did he tell Kevin McCarthy there's no chance of that? I think President Biden has been very clear that's dead on arrival. Everywhere he's traveled in this country, he's been talking about really setting up the choice that I think was before the American people uh, on Election Day. And a big part of that choice was a path forward to make sure that we were protecting Social Security and Medicare. Uh, and an alternative that was suggesting, put as you mentioned, putting it on the chopping block every five years or every one year in the instance of uh, Senator Ron Johnson. So he's been very clear. Uh, he's going to continue to be very clear. Uh, there's no chance that that would move forward uh, with him as president. President Biden uh, delivered a speech, a, a pre-election speech, unlike any we have ever heard from an American president, uh, saying democracy is on the ballot. Uh, does he believe that that speech helped turn the outcome of this election? Well, I think as you and I have talked about, President Biden was talking about democracy as something before he even got into the, the race in the first time in, in 2019, has continued to talk about issues of democracy throughout his time as president. But he clearly feels, and I think, uh, you know, has, has spoken about this very clearly, that there was a lot at stake. Democracy was at stake uh, in this election, and that was critical for the American people to show up and make sure that they understood that they had a role uh, in making sure that we held on to the democracy that is fragile and takes all of us. And I think what we saw, what he saw, what he was talking about, um, really showed that when the American people turn out to vote, when poll workers and volunteers show up to man the polls, you can see a free and fair election in this country executed beautifully and the American people having the patience to wait and see the results we're still waiting for over the next few hours and, and probably even a few more days. There's been a lot of talk today about Joe Biden being underestimated. It's a version of talk we have heard uh, at many points in his career, especially uh, since he began running for president uh, last time. Uh, and when, that when he would have his big wins, suddenly in that campaign, there was the talk that he had been underestimated. Is, is being underestimated the key to Joe Biden's success? I think the key to Joe Biden's success is that he understands the American people and he understands what they're going through, what they care about and what he can do to deliver for them. I think, you know, as you heard him talk about, uh, you know, he wasn't looking at the polling. He was out there talking to real voters and he knew that people cared about costs in their lives and that prices were too high. He also knew he had to tell the story about what his administration and Democrats were doing to bring those costs down. You heard him today say he knows that, that many people still have yet to feel some of the impacts of the Inflation Reduction Act that went forward earlier this year. 
But you also heard him talk about uh, reproductive choice and the fact that we are in a country where women's rights have been rolled back 50 years. And as you mentioned, you heard him talk about democracy. Those are things that he understood to be critical to the American people because he understands what they're going through. He was out there talking to them. He was hearing about it on the road. Uh, and that's what he was focused on, delivering for them, making sure that we were making progress, but being clear there's more work to be done together. And I think that's what the American people responded to. General, we need one uh, quick piece of advice from you before you go, because you guided us all through uh, the way we should watch the, the votes being counted during the last presidential election over that week that they were being counted that led to the Biden victory. Uh, you taught us how to watch those returns and, and, and that Joe Biden would win. What's your advice for people watching what may be weeks of, of vote counting to the final vote counts in California that could determine control of the House of Representatives? Well, I think the American people should feel great that their democracy is working, it's in action, and that the reason we need to have a little extra patience as we wait to see some of these results come through is because turnout was very high across the board, all ages, all parts of this country, people turned out to vote. So don't fret. The more uh, patience you have, the better, because we feel confident in what we're seeing. Obviously, there's still more votes to be counted. We're going to wait for those official results.